Okay, continuation from yesterday's sales. I found that piece I was looking for. It was right where I was looking, but I guess not good enough. This is that uh, Xbox 360 wireless adapter. And then I've already pulled all the orders because I forgot I'm gonna try and do YouTube stuff, but there's another Squish model that sold for maybe 10 bucks. And that feels actually $14 international. This is a Tigger Squish model that sold for $20. All these, this is, uh, yeah, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11, 12 of these totes are all Squishmallows because that's kind of what made me start doing eBay. Well, that along with Jurassic Park stuff. But I can make a different video for that origin story, I suppose. This is a Bakugan toy that sold for $25. I've had these for at least listed for a year plus. I used to sell them, you know. The diamond ones are worth a lot, so if you can find the diamonds, make sure you check on them. Uh, I used to buy the diamonds. I would I would uh, price match with Walmart. And Walmart at the time, this is Black Friday, I think a year and a half ago, or almost a year ago today, or coming up. Uh, but they would, Black Friday listed them for $2 or a dollar, and I would go to all the other retail stores around my area, and they would price match to those. So I bought like 18 or 19 of these uh, diamond-labeled, Bakugan toys at the time and I'd sell them for $100 and I sold like eight or nine that way and then they slowly trickled down and maybe average they all sold for probably like 48 which is just insane a dollar to $19 and a 48 times that so almost a grand this is another Jurassic Park toy uh I kind of went crazy buying Jurassic Park toys at one point because I'm really into dinosaurs oh what's that buddy smell Wow. And uh, went crazy into buying dinosaurs, so they went over to the Jurassic Park. <clears throat> Jurassic Park toy would pop up. I would buy it, because I'm like, oh, I've never seen that one before. But I kind of held back now. I'm now kind of being more strict. This is a DreamWorks Dragons thing. This sold for $35, free shipping. I've had this listed forever. I've been going through my stores and watching other people's content, and like really inspired me to well, let alone make content myself, because I think there's a kind of a twist that I do, which we'll, I'll get into tomorrow when we're doing a delivery, um, is uh, we also buy and sell and refinish old antique furniture, and we get it for theoretically zero, ideally, or we're paid to take it, or, you know, we buy it for less than 100 typically. That's another aspect of what I do. This is a, a Nintendo Wii Mario manual only. That sold for 10 bucks free shipping. Uh, another little Yu Gi Oh card right here sold from the collection buy for two bucks. And then um, over there behind the camera is, I guess I'm going to show you. It's whatever. So I guess you just come with me. Why are we cleaning each other? And if you turn around, this is kind of my crapshoot of a setup at the moment, but it's working. But this is how. All my cards are listed. These three rows are strictly Pokemon. This row is all Yu-Gi-Oh. This row, these like sleeved ones are all the hollow cards, you know. And then back here is base set cards. And then the, this is what I originally started. I originally had this whole thing full. And this was a card that sold for $27. This is a Lava Golem from Feral Guardian, I believe. Yeah, Feral Guardian. So, yeah, I guess I can do kind of a video on how I do all that stuff. That's more Nintendo stuff, and I guess a sneak peek at my Nintendos, so, sweet.